In 2017, between 450 billion and 600 billion is the estimated cost of uh, cyber attacks globally. So, so how do you see the, the sort of financial impacts affecting a company's cash flow over time? Well, Giles, it's increasingly complex um, companies having to deal with this evolving uh, cyber security threat. And it's very specific, I think, to each uh, industry and business model. Now, historically, when I think about cyber risk, I think about someone stealing uh, information. But really, it's so much more broad uh, than that. Uh, if you're a coffee shop and your payment system goes down, that means you're not able to take card payments, you lose revenue, and you're probably still paying staff uh, and suppliers. Uh, that has a cash flow impact, clearly. Uh, if you're a manufacturer uh, and you uh, fall victim to a phishing attack, that means you may pay a fraudulent supplier. Or, uh, if you have some sort of ransomware, it could actually impact your entire production process, which will have a long-term impact on your cash flow, potentially your reputation, and even your credit worthiness. If you're an online retailer, uh, as another example, if your website goes down, then you're also going to lose revenue, you're going to lose uh, payments, you may also lose customer information. And as we start to see the emergence of what they call the IoT, the Internet of Things, and we connect more and more of these devices, the, the financial aspects of this are going to become increasingly important, whereas in the past things were sort of fixed within the IT department, now the whole business is really going to, to suffer. So, I mean, how, how do you go about planning for some of those financial impacts that uh, you, you might see within an organisation after a cyber attack? The reality with uh, a, a cyber attack is that when you're in the throes of it, um, there's often a limited amount you can do. So really it requires uh, planning and forethought and that's really our, our challenge uh, to companies uh, of all sizes is they have to undertake some sort of uh, risk assessment. There's got to be a policy or just a basic strategy around uh, cyber risk, evaluating the risks that are specific to their industry uh, and then doing uh, a likelihood and impact assessment uh, and once you've done that you can then sort of actively manage those risks by uh, transferring them, uh, avoiding them or reducing them. Practically what that means for uh, any company is that the finance or the treasury department needs to work along with IT. They need to be involved in the, in the assessment, the risk assessment of their financial systems. But they also need to include all of these scenarios that uh, are specific to the industry. They need to include that in their cash flow forecasting, their scenario analysis, or for larger companies, their liquidity risk strategy. The big challenge for companies really is to shift thinking just away from IT uh, impacts to the financial impacts because for every uh, operational system uh, or process there is a financial impact. Understanding those, those short-term uh, risks and impacts to cash flow is uh, absolutely critical and cyber risk, uh, cyber attacks is just another element um, in understanding working capital and cash flow.